We start off with the latest coming in from South Africa, where just hours after the court denied bail to former President Jacob Zuma, large-scale protests have rocked the country's province, KwaZulu-Napal. On Friday night, the protesters blocked key national highways and also burnt trucks. 27 people had been arrested over the violent demonstrations. Quoting an official from the Road Traffic Inspectorate, the South African news portal said 19 trucks were torched overnight, including a truck that carried cars in transit near the toll plaza. The authorities have urged people to avoid traveling via specific routes until the situation improves. Former President Jacob Zuma was found guilty of contempt of court. He refused to submit evidence with regard to corruption charges that were filed against him. He had surrendered earlier this week and is currently at the Escort Correction Center. Supporters of the former South African president have been calling for his release and after the court's denial of bail, the protests turned violent. Many people shared videos of the protests on social media, all of which carried the hashtag Free Jacob Zuma. The KZN Premier Sehle Zekalala has called for calm and maximum adherence to the rule of law. Zekalala urged the protesters to demonstrate peacefully and avoid violence and destruction of public property. According to the SABC News, over a dozen protesters have been arrested by the police personnel. In two? In two? And our correspondent, Calvin Ong Mu, has been tracking all those developments. She sent us this report with the very latest. Take a look. Former President Jacob Zuma's supporters, demanding his release on Friday, staged violent protests across KwaZulu-Natal province. The protesters blocked main highways, causing major traffic delays. The angry protesters stoned motorists, burnt as many as 25 trucks and cars. This continued throughout the night, breaking lockdown protocols. KwaZulu Natal Premier Sikwe Zigalala has called for discipline and asked for protesters to express their anger through peaceful means. The Premier is also said to have asked the national leadership to pardon or consider pardoning Zuma as a solution to end the wave of violent protest action in the province. The pro-Zuma protests are expected to continue throughout the weekend. South African police services say as many as 27 people have been arrested so far for vandalism, looting and burning of trucks and other properties. This is Kaldan Aumo from Johannesburg, South Africa. For We On, World is One. We On now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.